Hello, and welcome to Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy. My name is Dr. Katherine Constant, and I am the author of the books, Lady Wisdom Speaks, and Lady Wisdom Gives a Party. She shall give to thine head an ornament of grace, and grace is like the anointing that gives you the ability to perform whatever task God has assigned you to do. New month, new month. This is the beginning of a new month. Hallelujah. And we're in the uh, second half of a wonderful year, 2019. And this season, this day is just so beautiful. It's just starting off really nice to begin this new month and this second half of the year. Well, I want you to know that there are plans for you. God's got plans for you. And those plans are to prosper you and to help you to be in health and to help you to grow into something like this, this garden, a beautiful garden. But we've got to be ready for change, yes. Sometimes we have to come out of our comfort zone and go into the new thing that God has for us. He has opened doors for you. He wants you to walk through those doors. And um, sometimes the door appears locked, but you've got to take it by faith and put the key in the lock and open the door. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy. Good morning. This is a very beautiful morning here. I'm thankful for grace. I'm thankful for grace and the benefits that it offers. One of the benefits of grace is wisdom. I was listening to Dr. Cindy Trim and she did this series on the anointing. And we need anointing for today. The anointing is what stirs up the grace and the grace stirs up the wisdom so that we can make those decisions that are sound and that are wise through the school of the holy spirit god will also remove not only educational barriers but intellectual barriers the bible said in luke 2 52 that jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with god and man god is the giver of wisdom wisdom is a greek word sophia and psalm 111 verse 10 says the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom a good understanding have all they that do his commandment now god wants to give you wisdom wisdom is a broad and full intelligence it's it's the ability to use your knowledge in a diverse kind of way and when god's anointing comes upon you he will also give you wisdom and when you get wisdom it's so important that wisdom doesn't travel by itself wisdom has traveling companions one of the things that there that, that wisdom will give you and there are several benefits of wisdom proverbs 4 and 5 to 13 says get wisdom get understanding forget it not neither decline it from uh, the words of your mouth forsake her not and she shall preserve thee love her and she shall keep you so wisdom is going to preserve you and wisdom is going to keep you the bible said wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom and with all thy getting get understanding exalt her and she will promote you when you are wise when you use the wisdom of God promotion is inevitable she will bring the honor honor comes with her when you embrace her well this morning it's fairly nice and cool and the thought for today is grace I thank God for the grace that he's given me and the grace to be able to share with you each morning a different thought and the grace for wisdom because it takes grace we have to come outside of ourselves and our own thinking we can't just stay within our own thinking when we think about what God would have for us to do we have to actually become 
aware of him and the grace that he has imparted to us through Jesus Christ. And the way that you can open the door to uh, things that are um, in your life, the plans that God has for you for your life, one is through prayer, um, two through praise, three through worship, four by giving, five by fasting, and six biblical meditation by taking the word of God, believing it, holding on to it and applying that word. Well, we've been working on uh, biblical meditation a lot and um, really thinking about, well, what is God saying to us and how are we going to fulfill the plans of God in our lives? She shall give to thine head an ornament of grace. And grace is like the anointing that gives you the ability to perform whatever task God has assigned you to do. And I pulled out a new cup. This is a different cup. This cup was given to me from my son for uh, Christmas. And I really like its color because it blends so well with the garden and the garden look. And look, I even got some new uh, covers for the seats here to even make my morning experience even more comfortable. And this cup just matches in very well. Now I've almost finished with my coffee yes I had coffee this morning because I just wanted to be I don't know just alert to what God has to say and for some reason um, the habit of coffee is there which I'm going to try and uh, cut back on but for right now it's helping me <laughs> The Bible said, a crown of glory shall she deliver to thy head. In other words, that it deliver to thee. In other words, when you see glory, glory is representational or is symbolic of power. Glory is symbolic of wealth. Glory is symbolic of affluence. Glory is symbolic of influence. She said when people see you, they're going to see you as someone that's wealthy, someone that is influential, someone that is affluent. In other words, when you get wisdom, wisdom becomes, um, hallelujah, your promotional, your PR specialist. Wisdom does only come, become your PR specialist, but wisdom also is your branding specialist. The Bible says that, you know, these are the things that you need to get. People will notice it, that when you are anointed and you have wisdom, they will notice it. It will be undeniable that you have been supernaturally empowered, the anointing. And I'm asking God for more grace this morning. Grace, grace, God's grace. Yeah. First grace to help me to walk in righteousness or do things that are right and pleasing in his sight and then grace to love others and to love God and wisdom will accompany grace to help us to do just that because wisdom will tell us what to do why we're doing it and how to do it effectively the how-to it will give us the how-to so I thank God for the benefits of wisdom. And she said that wisdom's name in the Greek is Sophia. So we know that. We know that wisdom is a lady. And uh, her name, Lady Wisdom, and her nickname is Sophia. <laughs> Did you know that? That Grace's name was Sof Sophia? Yeah, that's Lady Wisdom's nickname, Sophia. So we thank God for Sophia, because Sophia comes with benefits. And one of the benefits is that she gives us strategies and tips on how to live a productive and a full life. So we're thankful for Sophia, yeah, for Lady Wisdom. Um, I just thank God for the benefits too, because it says with wisdom comes honor with wisdom comes understanding 
with wisdom comes discernment and timing. Now, isn't that beautiful? Yeah, I planted this here, this nasturtium plant, and it looks extremely happy here. Mm. She shall give to thine head an ornament of grace. And grace is like the anointing that gives you the ability to perform whatever task God has assigned you to do. I want wisdom, the wisdom of God, to bring God's grace into everything that I do. And the ability to deliver whatever task that God has um, assigned for me to do with grace. Yeah, you know, have you ever seen a graceful woman, a woman of grace who does things with so much um, style and character um, that she's an honorable person? You just, you know, when you meet a woman like that, a woman seasoned in wisdom and grace. And that's what and who I want to become like that. And there's a certain amount of God's glory that is surrounding a woman like that. I've been thinking about Abigail in the Bible. She was a woman of grace. Um, she was one of David's wives, King David. And her husband, who she was married to at the time, was very much a fool. But yet she was able to manage her household, to keep everything together. And she did it with such grace and wisdom. And that's what I'm asking God for, is grace and wisdom. And it says, with that brings glory. With Abigail, because she was very wise, and um, she was able to calm the, the um, anger of David, who wanted to actually destroy her household because of the foolishness of her husband. Um, she was able to gain glory because when her husband ended up dying of a heart attack she was able to marry the king and she was honored by the king with marriage so she ended up receiving glory her wisdom and her understanding her discernment ended up giving her favor with the king and she ended up marrying the king and being um, part of his household and running his household. She got power, wealth, and influence. So, you know, what I want more than anything is for wisdom to be my PR person. I want the wisdom of God to um, give me what I need so that I can uh, do and be all that he will have me to be. I want wisdom to be my branding specialist. That's what I want from wisdom. I want to be supernaturally empowered by wisdom. Isn't this beautiful? So that I can shine like this nasturtium. It's so beautiful. It just stands right out on its own. Its own glory is just coming forth in it. And it's standing out. It's the power of the anointing. It's the power of the anointing, which will remove the barriers, which will remove everything and anything that will hinder the work of God in my life. And that's what I'm asking for, God's grace. Grace for today, grace to do and to be all that God will have me to be. Amen. The anointing removes access.
economic barriers. You know, the Bible said in Deuteronomy 8, 18, beware that thou forget not the Lord thy God in not keeping his commandments. This is verse number 11. And his judgment and his statutes will I commend you this day. Verse number 18. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is, it is he that gives you power to get wealth. And that power that God gives you is the anointing. The anointing will remove economic barriers. The anointing will not only remove economic barriers, the anointing will remove financial barriers. Through the anointing of God, God will give you strategies that will change your financial status. I decree and declare that your financial status is being changed right now by reason of the anointing and the way that you can open the door to uh, things that are um, in your life that plans that God has for you for your life one is through prayer um, two through praise three through worship four by giving five by fasting and six biblical meditation by taking the Word of God believing it holding on to it and applying that word. Well, we've been working on uh, biblical meditation a lot and uh, really thinking about, well, what is God saying to us and how are we going to fulfill the plans of God in our lives? Fasting is important because then we get to hear what God has to say to us because he has a lot that he wants to say to us, but we have to quiet ourselves get into that meditative mode go into the garden and uh, relax and hear what he says and then write the vision down make it plain set up the God plans hallelujah in our lives and then walk through the door open use your keys to open the door walk through the door well there's so much I want to say but there's only so much time um, but if you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below. What are God's plans for you? What are the dreams that you've been holding back on? And how are you going to unlock those doors, those doors that appear closed? What key are you going to use? And then um, how are you going to get started? Yeah, get started. Do something different that you've never done before. Change your location. Do something that you've never done before to just get you into a new mode, out of that comfort zone. Yes, and so may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he continually give you his peace in the name of Jesus. And Lady Wisdom wants you to know that you're wonderful, you're beautiful, you're God's gift to the world. So go on out there and shine and let the world know that Jesus Christ is Lord. And see you next time in Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy. Hallelujah. Remember to subscribe to Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy on YouTube. Be blessed.